Hello, if you're like me, you want to get the best performance out of Photoshop. In this lecture, I'll show you how you can do that. If you're not interested, feel free to skip ahead. The first thing you should aim for is 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM. From my experience, anything over 16 won't do you any good unless you're a professional who's using the program for a living. Press Ctrl or Command K and this will show you your preferences. From this list on the left side, choose Performance. From here, you should increase your memory usage to 60 to 70% depending on how much you multitask. If you have a lot of demanding programs running in the background, you might want to input a lower value. The history states refer to the number of times you can undo. I know you may be tempted to bump up this slider, but that will require more juice. My advice is to limit it to 20 or 30 states. On the left side, you may be wondering what this is about. In short, if you use lots of small layers, use the web slash UI design option. If you're a photographer who regularly works with huge images, the last one will be your go-to choice. If you're somewhere in the middle, the default value is best for you. I personally use the first option. One of the major boosts you can give to your computer is installing an SSD. Most users know SSDs are considerably faster than regular hard disks, but here's the catch. If you want Photoshop to truly benefit from your lightning-fast SSD, you have to use it as a scratch disk. That's available immediately under performance. Scratch disks are used by Photoshop when you run out of RAM. The more empty space it has, the better. That means you're better off installing Photoshop and various other programs on your hard drive and keeping your SSD mostly empty in order to use it as a scratch disk. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but installing Photoshop on your SSD won't make a noticeable difference in performance. In general, leaving Photoshop aside, most SSDs perform worse as you fill them up. Some argue that by having it over 50% full, you're slowing it down considerably. Of course, this varies from brand to brand, model to model. I wouldn't worry too much about it as long as you have at least 20 gigabytes of free space on your SSD. In case you have several partitions, you can enable them by checking their respective boxes. One solid piece of advice is to make sure you have them stacked in the correct order. So if your SSD is the third option on this list, click it and use this up arrow to change its position to first. Let's close this window and open a new project with Control N. Just hit Create, don't worry about the rest. Focus on the bottom left side. From this area, click and hold this tiny icon. From this list, choose Efficiency. This should ideally show 100%. If the value in the indicator is below 100%, Photoshop has used all available RAM and is using your scratch disk. That's not ideal because your RAM is much faster than your SSD, even if you're using a high-end model. If you've set your memory usage to anything under 70%, now is the time to increase that value and see if your efficiency changes. If it falls under 90%, you'll start to feel Photoshop slowing down. In this case, add more RAM or close any unnecessary programs or documents. These are my tips for getting the most out of Photoshop. As we go along, you'll find more tips about the subject, so stay tuned. Before you continue with the next lecture, open Photoshop, use Ctrl-K and make sure your settings are good to go. I'll see you soon.